Consultation has barely begun on the state's new World Heritage Management Plan, but it appears the Tasmanian government's already got environmentalists and some members of the Aboriginal community offside. The opposition's worried the conflict will scare off potential tourism developers and is urging the Premier to be more upfront about what's on the cards. Almost a quarter of Tasmania is classified as Wilderness World Heritage Area. It's sacred to the Aboriginal community, which was hoping for greater ownership as part of the government's new management plan. We're disappointed because it's an anti-Aboriginal ownership document. It doesn't mention Aboriginal ownership of the areas at all. The draft plan does propose dual naming of the area and what the government's calling a cultural business unit to better engage Aboriginal people in its management. Michael Mansell says it's not enough. Leaving it in the hands of the Department of Primary Industry and simply sit one Aboriginal bum on a seat in a committee and give it dual naming. I mean, that's clearly not, not, not acceptable to anybody and it certainly is not acceptable to Aboriginal people. The draft plan is not acceptable to environmentalists either. It seeks to open up World Heritage areas to more low-scale tourism developments and recreational activities. With Orange Valley Parrot population now down to, to almost double digits, we have a real concern about the potential management and the increase in threats to those species in the World Heritage area. Just like with the forestry conflict, conservation groups are banding together, urging people to voice their opposition to the government. Where is the line? Where is uh, the balance? And uh, it's our perspective that it's very, very clear from this draft management plan that the line has been crossed. I'd encourage all key stakeholders and interested groups, including the Aboriginal community, to participate in this consultation process. The opposition says the government could allay concerns by being more transparent about the tourism ventures proposed. No developer is going to want to develop in a conflict area. If you build that conflict in the first place, well then you're eroding your opportunities. 37 potential developments could be on the line. Anna Fromberg, ABC News.